Hello everyone, I'm Raul Peralta, your immediate past chairman for SEDC. It is my pleasure today to present to you the 2020 Honorary Life members. Some of the details for these members that have been selected. They, in order to be approved as Honorary Life members, they must have served in an economic, industrial, or community development role and their accomplishments and activities go far and beyond the basic activities that an economic developer provides. They must have at least 10 years of service in the region that SEDC serves in those roles, professional, economic, or industrial, or community developer. Individuals must be a past or present member of SEDC and must have demonstrated numerous years of service, including committee membership, board member, officer, or a committed and active supporter of SEDC. And the last requirement that these years honorees barely fit into is that they must be at least 50 years old. Let's move on to the first honoree. This individual has been a member since 1981 of SEDC. This individual served as the annual conference chairman in 1997. They also served as a board member representing the great state of North Carolina in 1993 through 1996, 2012 through 2013. And he also served as the chairman of SEDC in 2017. By now, I'm sure you know who I'm referring to. Congratulations, Bob Leake Jr., President and CEO of Whitaker Park in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I'd like to thank my friends at SEDC for the incredible honor that they have bestowed upon me as an honorary life member. I'd also like to thank Tyler Chaffee and Kathleen Hess who worked on my team here at Winston-Salem Business for a number of years for preparing and submitting the nomination. Um, this is a great honor and, and I am thrilled to have received it. Um, hard to believe I joined SEDC almost 40 years ago and I would have never known at the time what uh, lifelong friends I would make uh, through this membership and also the opportunities and advantages uh, my economic uh, development career had uh, by being a member of SEDC. My advice for new members, uh, young members, or what I would call paper members uh, is first, you need to show up, come to meetings and conferences. Second, participate, uh, get involved in things, join committees, join the board, uh, be active. You know, the old adage that you only get uh, what you put in, uh, when you get back out, uh, applies to this as well as everything else. So uh, be active in SEDC and I think it will pay great dividends for you. Again, I'd like to thank uh, SEDC for this incredible award. Uh, and I wish all of you a very good conference. Honoree number two. This individual has been a member of SEDC since 1995. He served a, as a director representing the great Commonwealth of Kentucky from 2007 through 2010. And then again in 2013 and 2014. And then again in 2018, through 2020. It is my pleasure to recognize Libby Adams, Executive Director of Shelby County Industrial and Development Foundation, Inc. in Shelbyville, Kentucky, as one of the honorees for 2020 Honorary Life member. Thank you, uh, SEDC, for allowing me to be part of the organization for over 25 years. The experiences that I've had the trainings that I've uh, been involved with, the people that I've met have been invaluable. I hope to continue with the organization for a little while longer. And um, I wanna thank them all for this honor. I, I am truly honored to, to have received this. Thanks. The third honoree for this year's Honorary Life membership has been a member of SEDC since 2005. Was a State Director representing the Great Commonwealth of Virginia from 2007 through 2010. 
was chair of the annual conference in 2008 and chair of SEDC in 2013. It is with great pleasure that I present to you the third honoree for this year's honorary life membership, Dan Motley, Industrial Development Manager, TMC from Moneta, Virginia. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to just take a moment to say a few words in gratitude for the award that I'm receiving today. First, I'd like to recognize and my good friends Libby and Bob on their receiving the award today also. They're great friends, great professionals, and it's an honor for me to share this award with you today. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the person or persons who did all the research and all the hard work to put my nomination package together. I know it took some time and I really appreciate your help. Um, I'd also like to thank Gene and all his staff for so much good advice and friendship and help over the years for all the things we, all the moments, good times we share together. Uh, SEDC has been one of the great highlights of my career in economic development and I'm glad to have had an opportunity to meet so many great people, share so many great memories and see so many fun things over the years. So I will cherish this award uh, for the rest of my life and I really appreciate your thinking of me. Thank you. It has been an honor to serve as your immediate past chair for 2020. It has been so much fun to be a part of this recognition. I congratulate all three of this year's honorees and wish them the best that life has to offer in the future.